I mean, I think that it doesn't need anything more than what it is. Like, I'm doing an album that was taken away from me, putting it out there as an indie artist. Like, I don't, you know what I mean? Yeah. An album that people weren't meant to hear. His story repeats, it keeps you on your feet, the faster it goes. Keeps you on your toes. I had a manager say to me one time, I'm not going to say his name, and it was two records ago. Yeah. He said, if this record doesn't happen for you, it's your last shot. You down until you're underground. My sister and I, we have, uh, we have a long history. Big day tomorrow, we're switching hotel rooms. We're gonna be in New Work tomorrow. Darren's in town, mom comes in tomorrow. And then we have a day of just chilling and rehearsing. And then Wednesday, we're in the, what, what are we in, the W Hotel? The w Hotel, I'm about to do our showcase. Um, we started writing when we were, we should, well, I, I think I was 18 or 19. She's five years younger than me. Uh, we started writing to on an eight track and uh, I had an acoustic guitar. And, uh, I guess since then we just had this, uh, we just had this connection. So 10 years ago, me and my brother wrote an album called Wait and it got us two major record deals. We finally chose a home for the album with a major label and um, we finished the album and it never got released because the label um, just shifted in the sense it was almost like an earthquake happened within the label. So artists were um, shelved and the term shelved means you're just put on a shelf and forgotten. It's a very human thing to just try again, you know, like you can't give up, you have to keep making music. So that's what we did and that's what I've done. And I've put out a couple albums um, and I've toured and I've, I've continued to create independently. It just created this fire inside of me that was just like, you don't get to tell me what I'm allowed to do. <laughs> like, it's a beautiful thing. I'm just going to re-record these songs that I love, that I believe in. And the fact that me and my brother still, 10 years later, have the heart to get back into the studio and uncover these songs from under the ground and like dust them off and re-attack them with where we're at now in our lives. My brother's a father, you know, I'm recently married. Um, we're different people, completely. We're coming at this with such a, a passion and a heart and not an ego and an expectation. This is literally coming from like the most authentic place I think I've ever been in my life. It almost has this feeling behind it of like, you know, I'm not gonna be defined by a corporation. I'm not gonna be given permission or allowed to release my art because some label decides it's my time. Every day is my time. At this point in my life, I feel like you don't really need the middleman anymore. And I feel like it's only caused me a lot of trauma in the past and lack of control. Comments that have been made to me, you know, 
oh, if this record doesn't happen, you know, it's your last shot. It's your last shot as a female artist in the industry. So Alex, you're a model, I guess? Me? Yeah. No, I'm a musician. So how do you have why do you have a photo shoot? It's an album shoot. Ah, congratulations. Thank you. You got an album, that's nice. It's like maybe uh one tenth of one percent actually make it, you know, out of a thousand people who start up saying I'm gonna be a big star. You know. In this day and age people have to uh, come up with tricks and stuff and other things to stay relevant, you know? I'm not into that, so. <laughs> but there's room for everybody. Oh, you signed with these big, big players already? I did, but I did a full record, and uh, then there was a shift within the company, so it never got released. Oh, well, that's terrible. Yeah, I'm reattacking. I'm re-recording songs that never got a chance to be heard. Like I'm that's taking my songs. That's terrible. I don't understand that. Yeah. That's like cruel. It's a cruel industry. Ah. Yeah, the question was, uh, why, why do you do music and art? Why do I do music and art? Because I honestly feel like it's the most honest thing I have to offer. No, I think it's important for people to do what they were, what their spirit is telling them to do with their life. Because even in the hardest times of my life, I'll never wake up and be like, oh, you know, like, I wasted my time. Wasted my time here. Like, don't make excuses for your art. Don't do it because you're looking for gratification. Do it because you, you have so much to say that it's killing you. Um, I'll never have those broken dreams because I'll know that I, I put myself out there authentically. And to me, that's the most important thing about art. Yeah, it was true. I felt like like yes. I could write your biography. Yes, <laughs> that's your next job. Right place, the most multicultural city in the world. It's Toronto, more than New York City. But not as multicultural as your mom. <laughs> <laughs> this is stupid. This joke is awesome. That was awesome.